If you use a Daily BMS in the battery of your camper van, then this video is for you. I'm going to be talking about an issue that we faced this week where the BMS had turned itself off completely. No charge, no discharge, and it took a while to figure out what was going on. And I'm going to be talking about that and what we found and how we figured out what was going on. Hey folks, my name is Nigel and this is Off Grid Van Life. And so this week what happened was I was uh, busy working, making videos, building stuff out here in the workshop and I get a message from on Instagram from one of our customers who is currently in the Dolomites at the time of filming this video in Italy in their van and they've got one of our Ops 300 batteries uh, in their camper van and if you are new here we use the Dali BMS this is the 200 amp version but we use the 150 amp version in our Ops 300s and uh, they messaged me and they said I was uh you working on the laptop the laptop was plugged into the inverter charging and all of a sudden all of the power in the van just turned off there's no 12 volt there's no usbs there's no lights there's no inverter nothing just completely dead 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 and so um remotely they didn't have enough signal uh, at that time to do like a video call or anything like that and so literally all it was is just over uh, messenger on uh, Instagram and so we started the process of debugging and troubleshooting and trying to figure out okay what's going on and so started off in the daily app if you go to the system settings the last screen on the daily app there's options to reboot the daily app to reset it to factory settings uh, to turn the draw and the and the discharge and the charge uh, switches on and off and nothing was happening at all it was just completely dead no life nothing couldn't charge couldn't discharge on the front screen of the daily bms i'll put a screenshot in here in the video just to show you what it looks like but in the front screen in the daily bms there are two things saying um it's like an abbreviation but basically charge mos and discharge mos and and essentially what those are is that they are the mosfets that that are inside the BMS and the MOSFET is what protects the battery cells. So it protects it from overcharging, um, discharging it too much, all those sort of things. And it's all based on the parameters that we set in the BMS when we build the battery. Now what happened with our customers is uh, we went through the process and uh, we were trying to turn the, char the charge and the discharge switches back on and they would just stay off completely, just nothing, just no response, just off. Now, um, like many things on the internet, Daly uh, has a lot of opinionated people after it and uh, a lot of people, a lot of people like Daly and feel that they are good products for the money and we're one of those people or some of those people um, and equally there are a lot of people that really dislike daily and sometimes that's because of bad experiences now the trouble is with anything electrical is at some point it probably will fail and die uh, whether you've got daily whether you've got victron whether you've got gyandal whatever the case is at some point a lot of the stuff could fail and probably will fail and so uh, I think the, the trouble is that some people maybe have had bad experiences and inevitably, although Daly are a big company and are fairly good in terms of their customer service, like a lot of the suppliers from China, they have a very similar mentality in the sense of knowing that it's just such an inconvenience to send the products back to China and, and there, there definitely is a lack of customer service. The suppliers that we've worked with in China definitely don't have that same level of customer service that you get from European and American companies. So all of that to rabbit trail, essentially uh, we were debugging and troubleshooting on this daily bms uh, on in the battery in our customer's van remotely and we were giving them instructions saying things like okay let's try reboot the bms Tr they tried rebooting it nothing happened tried uh, turning the charge and discharge switches on still nothing tried all these different things eventually um, i said to them okay let's just reset it to factory settings and i'll send you screenshots of all of the parameters that you need to change again so that it's back to how we set it when we dispatch the batteries they did that still nothing so at that point i knew that there's one of two options here one is there's something else in the van electrics that is causing a problem and the bms is doing what it's designed to do and it is protecting the battery cells and basically shutting off the battery from anything erroneous in the van or 
the BMS itself is faulty and in which case that's kind of a worst case scenario because then the the only way out of that is to replace the BMS and that's a bit of a, a pain when you're on the road and so the next instruction and and this is kind of a tip and hopefully this is helpful for you in terms of if you ever have these sort of problems uh in future uh is that this is kind of the process that we went through so we started off with the bms okay is there anything we can do there are there anything any is there anything we can do in terms of re restarting the, the bms resetting it to factory settings turning the switches on and off okay that didn't work now onto the next thing and the next thing is to isolate everything that's connected to the battery and see if we can figure out what it is that's causing the BMS to act like this. And if there's nothing that's connected to the battery, then we know that the BMS is potentially faulty. And so then we went down the process of, okay, we removed everything that was connected to the top of the battery. And that's the solar charge controller, the DC to DC charger, inverter, 12 volt distribution block, one of those fuse blocks, all of that sort of stuff. And uh, obviously within all of this, we've, we have said to the customer, okay, to isolate your solar panel so that your a charge controller is not receiving um, power from the solar panels when your battery is not connected etc um, and so as soon as they disconnected everything battery turns back on the discharge switch turns back on and so immediately we knew okay it's not something wrong with the battery the daily bms is doing what it's designed to do and it's protecting the battery cells and so this means that there's something in the van that's faulty and so at that point we then said to the customer okay start putting everything back onto the battery one by one and check the battery the app for the daily uh, bms and uh, see which item it is that causes it to turn off and it's not that you have to bolt every single thing on you just have to hold it firmly onto the terminal and the good thing with 12 volt is obviously um, it's fairly safe as long as you don't short it or anything like that and so they then started the process so dc to dc charger no change battery still working fine solar charge controller no change everything's fine 12 volt for uh, all of the smaller appliances to the fuse block so usb lights all that sort of stuff uh, no problem inverter dink battery off and so immediately we knew that there's a problem with the inverter maybe the inverter has has uh, has blown and there's a short in the inverter and that's causing a problem for the bms and so the bms is just cutting the connection to the inverter but straight away just through that isolation process of uh, troubleshooting through each of those items uh, we were able to identify remotely with the customer talking them through uh, what they needed to do uh, that it was the inverter that caused the problem and so fortunately for them they actually had a jackery in their camper van uh, which enabled them to still have uh, 240 volt capability so that they could charge their laptop and stuff like that and obviously all of the other stuff like uh, iPhones and all that stuff runs on 12 volts so that's fine so essentially what they then did is just put everything back together minus the inverter so that they had a running van just without the inverter and so what that means is that either they could take the plug out the front of the inverter and put it into the jackery so that they have all of the plugs in the camper van working uh, just while they were on that trip and then fix it at a later date or whatever the case is or they could actually uh, just use the jackery just mobile to charge laptops and stuff like that when they needed to um, so yeah we were pretty pleased that we were able to identify the issue but even more so than that uh, we were super pleased that the daily bms was doing what it's designed to do and what it's supposed to do and that's to protect the cells and to offer a layer of, of protection for your battery and so yeah hopefully uh, this has been helpful i just thought i would put this out there it's something that's recent and not an issue that we've come across before and uh, to be honest when we first got that message we were like oh no this is just, this is not ideal having somebody in the dolomites with a camper van with no power uh, is really not a great situation uh, but we were super pleased to have been able to troubleshoot it remotely and get everything sorted get them back online and working uh, and and able to continue on their travels um, so yeah hopefully that's been helpful if you have a daily bms on your battery and it just turns off completely go through the process of isolating if there's anything external to the battery that's connected to it that may have shorted or blown that's creating a short and uh, that might be something that's helpful for you in the future but yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video cheers